Hi, I'm Angela Arnold, and today we're going to talk about selecting a design template for our Weebly website. Now, let's go to the Weebly.com website. By now, you should have your username and your password, and you can click here, fill in your username, your password, your email address, and click I accept the terms of service. Then click this button to start creating your website. Since I already have uh, my Weebly account up, I'm just going to log into it. And I'm going to select my College Admissions 411 website today to edit. Now, when I do that, my website is going to come up, so you'll be able to see exactly what my website looks like now. And you see the design elements that I have selected. This is my home page. This is my banner which I'm going to circle right now. My banner is um, something that was selected to match an ebook cover. I have an ebook which I sell from my website. It's called College Admissions 411, The Black Student's Guide to Getting Accepted. And this is the banner that's on my ebook cover. So I just made it a little easier for myself when I built this website to use the same banner that I have. But you can select any photographs or images that you want to go on to your banner if you want a banner. You can select the design without a banner. So you, I just want you to look at some of the elements I have. This is my navigation bar, and you need to pay careful attention to that when you're selecting a, a design template also. And I also have uh, quite a few videos on my website. So I'm going to want a design element that can in, uh, embrace my videos, so to speak. And I have a contact form, an opt-in form on my website homepage. I have a contact form where people can just um, fill that out to, to get in touch with me. And I have a free consultation form. So all of these things I wanted on my website, and I wanted a design template that could incorporate that. So let's go click on to the designs. And we see that Weebly has in this row, top row, they have probably now close to 40 different designs that are available to us. Here's what happens when I hover over a design. This is great. Weebly shows me exactly what my uh, website would look like if I had selected that option. One thing I want to mention to you also is that you can select and deselect design templates all the time. You, um, you are not married to your decision. If you decide, hey, I don't like the look of that anymore, you can change it with the click of a mouse. And I have done so a couple of times. But with this design element, let's look at the first one. I'll click on that and keep it there for a while. You see that my face is cut off a little bit. Um, and the design doesn't fit totally into the image here. So when a, design, when a template takes a design or a banner, all you do is click on the banner area, and it tells you how, much, uh, how many pixels and things you need to, um, to have that banner. So this banner is 770 pixels by 140 pixels. I've already showed you how to use the uh, VSO image resizer. So if you had some photographs and things or something else that you wanted to use as your banner, um, you just resize it so that it fits approximately into the space that's necessary. And uh, as I recall, Weebly will take JPEG files, and I think it takes uh, GIF files. So you have to make sure that your files are formatted in that uh, uh, you know, JPEG or GIF. And then all you do is upload your header. You click that button and you upload it from wherever it is on your computer and it'll go right in here and it shows you, it'll show you how it will look in this uh, banner. So you'll know before you even select the template whether that's good for you or not. Now I, I took a long time selecting um, my, my uh, design templates and I may change at any time. That's one of the beauties of what you can do here with Weebly. This is what my website looks like with this template. And as you can see, there's no banner here. So that means that this template will not take a banner. And then I have to decide whether I like this template enough to forego using the images or whether I want to go to one with this, which has an image. But I like it. It's a nice, clean look. Um, 
I'm going to click over some others so you can see quickly what, what the design would look like here. This is great. I can see here that it has cropped my, my banner. It has taken the second image uh, and put it in here, but it still looks fantastic. It's nice and clean. I, had, I can read my uh, website name good. Um, I see this is coming here, but the only thing I don't see is my video. So I know that this image right here, I'm going to have to do some a little bit of work here to get my video on it. Uh, let's click this one and see what happens. So this is nice and clean also. Uh, my banner looks nice and good. It fits perfectly. Um, my video is there. The navigation is clean. It looks like maybe a couple of um, tabs are, are not there, but if I want to have a, a navigation bar, horizontal navigation with about nine elements in it, this is a good design. And with the horizontal navigation, of course, you just don't want to have your, your navigation look too cluttered. So I suggest anywhere from seven to ten tabs would be good. If you go beyond that, you probably want to go to vertical navigation where you can have virtually unlimited um, pages displayed. But even then, you don't want to have too many pages displayed because it starts to look cluttered and inelegant. But this is a nice design. Let's go to the next one. This design is actually the same design I have selected for my Work at Home Winners website. Um, this is nice and clean. The banner fits perfectly. It's large size. It's uh, very legible here what your title of your, your website is. The video is good in here. Everything is good. And the navigation is quite simple, easy to understand, and clean. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. All right, College Admissions 411. Um, the navigation is clean. The um, video is there. The title is clear. Let's take a look at this one. This gives you, oh man, I, I love this. Um, I like the contrast because you don't, you don't often see um, websites that look this neat and the contrast is something that may attract people to your website. Uh, the white pops out really, really well against this dark navy blue and dark blue background. Um, the only thing you need to be concerned about here is, are, are people going to be able to read your copy well? And if not, then you don't want to use this one. But I think this is a nice uh, design for people who don't have a lot of copy on their website. And, um, you know, so let's take a look at a few more, see how they look. Oh, this is a nice element here. The navigation again is clean. You can see what happened here. My pictures cropped some, but uh, I still have a night enough enough um, beauty there that I, I would accept that. But I would probably go back and resize my banner to fit into this space, or I would just use fewer pictures, maybe two pictures in there instead of the three that I currently have. Uh, now, this is a nice design but no uh, no photograph. So if you don't have a photograph or you don't have a banner that you want to use, I think this is a, a nice uh, a nice option. I like the red on the white um, I like the white on the red background. This is a nice frilly type one you have to see whether you want to go with something that's as flowery as this. But again, if you have no technological skills and you just want to drag and drop application, um, just click around and see what you like. For this one, my navigation is going to be all messed up, so I know I won't select that, that option for myself. I love this one. This is nice and clean. I like the earth colors. I like the contrast uh, there for the title. The horizontal navigation looks fantastic. And this is a nice subtle design. It's more subtle than the design I currently have. It's wide open and spacious, and I like the way this looks. Okay. Let's go for a couple more and we'll stop. All right, then this.